how to play the LT-432. The LT-432 is a Soviet Tier 8 light tank. The most iconic vehicles of this type are best known for their speed and ability to get on everyone's nerves by rushing up and down the map, always twisting and turning. But the LT-432 is a premium vehicle, which means it offers a different kind of gameplay. Light tanks rely on two main characteristics, mobility and concealment. The latter is directly related to the vehicle dimensions, and the dimensions of the LT-432 seem quite large. The tank is wide and long, but it still has a high concealment parameter due to its low silhouette. Dynamics are the chief asset of the researchable Soviet light tanks, and the LT-432 is no exception, with its remarkable maximum speed and good acceleration. On the other hand, its maneuverability is rather peculiar. The tank enters turns smoothly and can swiftly move to the opposite side of the map. But it can't always be on the forefront dodging shells like Neo. Its dimensions just won't let it. The LT-432 is a good choice for active spotting. Find a position, spot the enemy for as long as it's reasonable, then quickly move away and antagonize the enemy somewhere else. The characteristics of the gun are fairly standard for its tier and class, the main advantages being damage per minute, fast aiming, perfect stabilization, and reasonable elevation depression angles. The LT-432 follows the old tenet of all light tanks. Thou shalt do harm, using distance and concealment. You can see three circles on the minimap. Vehicle draw distance, maximum spotting range, and view range. The commander of a light tank is always trying to visualize another one that would indicate where they can be spotted. When scouts keep the enemy inside the area between the view range circle and the circle they have in mind, they spot the enemy without being detected. The wider the area, the richer the opportunities. You can direct your gameplay into a more aggressive style and better help your allies. The size of this area depends not only on the vehicle characteristics, but also on the view range and position of the enemy vehicles, as well as on how the battle develops. The worst case scenario is beginning the battle at the bottom of the team list, because the view range of the enemy vehicles may be higher than that of the LT-432. But the concealment does the job and allows this light tank to get closer to the enemies than they expect. The start of a battle with the LT-432 is often the same. Try to spot the enemy maneuvers as quickly as possible as it will help your allies to wisely distribute their forces. Moreover, you will find this information useful for planning your further actions. You might find that the enemy does not have proper presence on one of the flanks, and you'll soon have a chance to earn a good deal of experience and credits for spotting as many enemy vehicles there as you can. This approach also works for city maps. You may not have the same freedom there, but they still have a number of attractive paths to common positions. The LT-432 does not need to employ special techniques in order to spot the first enemy vehicle. Its speed and concealment allow it to use standard routes and hideouts for passive spotting. At the very start of a battle, a light tank's worst enemy is a light tank from the opposing team, so it might be a good idea to get rid of them as quickly as possible to secure more space and subsequently use this space to achieve the best performance. Therefore, counteractions against light tanks are a top priority. You can always try to outclass the enemy in spotting and use your allies to pull chestnuts out of the fire. But if you feel especially bloodthirsty, you can easily do the work yourself. The LT-432 feels comfortable in combat against its peers due to its good gun and, curiously enough, armor and durability. Not so substantial in duels with other vehicle types, but against other lights, they make a critical difference. When in combat, try to keep as many hit points as you can, because your remaining HP pool defines your future actions in the battle. Don't squander your hit points unless you are absolutely sure that taking a hit or two will provide an advantage. Therefore, if you can't destroy an enemy light vehicle without a sacrifice on your side, it might be a good idea to wait for a better moment. The best approach is to assess the situation and act accordingly. So, the vehicles have moved out to their positions. What's next? Before the battle sees the first casualties, the LT-432 has a few options available, long-distance spotting being one of them. This light tank can support allies with fire from a safe position. 
It doesn't deliver the highest damage per shot, but considerable damage per minute will soon become a thorn in the enemy's armor. Even if some hits bounce off, the adversary may lose focus, change position, and expose itself to your ally's guns. It might take more than one hit to destroy a track, but once it's off, the LT-432 can immobilize the enemy for good due to its high rate of fire. In this case, even a repair kit will turn out to be a temporary respite rather than a full-fledged fix. The LT-432 is an infiltrator. It is equipped to operate with cunning and subtlety. The infiltrator's power lies in knowledge, not in weapons. If you know everything about your enemies while they know nothing about you, you will always gain the upper hand. As soon as you lose this advantage, you may be cornered and destroyed. Hence the two main rules for light tanks. Never go to a position you can't leave and always analyze the minimap. They might sound corny, but light tanks thrive when following these rules. If you have the chance, infiltrate the enemy defenses, as it will help you achieve several goals at once. Disperse the fog of war and get updates on vehicle positions. The vehicles that posed a threat to the team may be long gone. Find new targets. Spotting vulnerable tank destroyers and SPGs may tip the scales in favor of your team. Do you want to have some fun and make sure your enemies don't? Attack from a flank. Make the enemy vehicles turn their guns. Draw their attention away from the main combat and force them to feel nervous and stumble, as each of their mistakes is an opportunity for your allies. If your opponents react to your mischief, they will pull some forces back, simplifying the situation for your allies up the line. If not, their SPGs will fall prey to your skills and you can outflank the enemy team later. At the end of the battle, with few vehicles surviving, the LT-432 has the entire map at its disposal, which alleviates the need to act so stealthily. During this stage, a light tank can focus on dealing damage by helping allies land the final blows. If the prospects aren't so bright for the team, the LT-432 can be the last warrior standing. This is how it rolls when the vehicle is at the bottom of the team list. A place in the middle gives the LT-432 a bit more space, but being at the top of the list is what makes this tank a real beast from the very beginning of a battle. In battles against Tier 6 vehicles, the LT-432 enjoys the most comfortable balance between spotting and being spotted. The combination of concealment and view range make it almost invisible, and the speed grants it nearly inescapable omnipresence. The penetration rate allows the LT-432 to stuff any vehicle with shells, and the usual tactics of a light tank are complemented by the chance to fully unlock its potential for dealing damage. As for the crew skills and perks, the best strategy would be to pick the ones that enhance the comfort zone. The commander can learn the skills and perks of the loader and radio operator. And with such an abundance of options, it's quite difficult to choose. We would recommend selecting Sixth Sense, then Camouflage, and Situational Awareness. You can pick from the remaining skills and perks as you please. The situation with the gunner, who is also the loader, is more straightforward. Camouflage comes first, Snapshot goes second, the latter will improve firing, the rest are up to you. The driver's first choice should also be Camouflage, then everything that improves mobility, and Smooth Ride. The fourth option entirely depends on personal preferences. We might recommend Brothers in Arms as a possible choice. As for the equipment, coated optics and gun rammer are a must. The third piece is entirely up to you. If you think that accuracy on the move is crucial, install the vertical stabilizer. For better aiming while stationary, consider using the enhanced gun laying drive. If your crew is already well trained with Brothers in Arms at its disposal and you are ready to use extra combat rations, then improving ventilation might do the trick. Then there is always the camouflage net for the patient players who like passive spotting from bushes. The LT-432 is a versatile vehicle that features the best traits of light tanks and excels in active and passive spotting, supporting allies and dealing damage. Such a panoply of options makes the LT-432 a worthy representative of the Soviet light tanks branch.